children let's continue with our chapter 2 integers in our previous video we have learned multiplication of integers in this part we are going to learn division of integers division of integers let's learn we have learned how to divide one positive integer by another we also know that quotient of such a division may be an integer or a fraction on the number line we can show negative integers on the left of the zero we can show parts of integers also in the same way here are the numbers minus 5 upon 2 minus 3 upon 2 3 upon 2 5 upon 2 are shown on the number line note that minus 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 2 are mutually opposite numbers let's see examples minus 3 upon 4 and positive 3 upon 4 or minus 5 positive 5 that is positive and negative turns into negative so is equal to we get zero when the two numbers which are same but their signs are different they turn into zero the pairs of opposite numbers are also called pairs of additive inverse numbers we have seen that negative multiply by negative is positive here Minus one multiply by minus one is equal to positive one. In the same way, in division, if the two sides of this equation are divided by minus one, we get the equation minus one is equal to one upon minus one. Therefore, the quotient of division one upon minus one is equal to minus one. when one integer is divided by another non zero integer it is customary to write the denominator of the quotient as a positive integer hence we write 6 upon minus 4 as you can see that denominator is minus 4 is equal to this denominator sign will go to numerator so minus 6 upon 4 in the same way negative negative numerator and denominator both are negative and the answer will be positive let's see the rules of division of integers are like the rules of multiplication of integers we cannot divide any number by zero the quotient of two positive integer is a positive number the quotient of two negative integers is a positive number the quotient of a positive integer and a negative integer is always a negative number let's begin with a practice set 9 question number 1 solve first example minus -96 divided by 16 let's solve this Minus 96 divided by 16 can be written in this form also. Now our next step is let's factorize 96 and 16. Four fourths are 16 and 16 6 is 96. Upon 4 into 4 is 16. Now, as you can see here in the numerator and denominator, we have four. Two times and which is common between them. So let's do it. Four ones are four, numerator and denominator, and next four ones are four. Now what is left here? Minus six. So our answer is minus six. Let's see our second example. Ninety-eight divided by minus twenty-eight. Let's solve it. Ninety-eight. Upon minus twenty-eight. Now already we have learned that denominator cannot be negative, so this negative sign we are going to shift it to our numerator. So ninety minus ninety-eight upon twenty-eight. 
Let's factor, let's see the factors of 98 and 28. They are 2 into 7 that is 2 7s are 14 and 14 7s are 98 and 2 2s are 4 and 4 into 7 is 28. Now here you can see that in numerator and denominator we have 2 and 2. So let's cut them. 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2 and here again we can see that 7 also is there in numerator and denominator. So 7 ones are 7 above numerator and denominator. So what is left? In numerator minus 7 is left and in denominator we have only 2. So our answer is minus 7 upon 2. Third example, minus 51 divided by 68. Let's solve it. Minus 51 upon 68. Now let's remove the factors of 51 and 68. As you have learnt in your 6th standard how to remove factors, I hope you all know it very well. So 17 into 3 is 51. 17 threes are 51. And 17 into 2 is 34 and 34 twos are 68. So as you can see in numerator and denominator we have 17. So 17 ones are 17 cut up and down that is numerator and denominator. Now here we don't have anything to divide. So what is left here minus 3 in numerator. And in denominator we have 2 into 2 which is nothing but 2 twos are 4. So our answer is minus 3 upon 4. Next sum 38 divided by minus 57. Let's solve it. 38 upon minus 57. As you all know that negative sign is in denominator. So we are going to remove this denominators negative sign and we are going to shift it to a numerator that is minus 38 upon 57. Let's see the factors of 38 and 57. 2 into 19 that is 2 19s are 38 and 3 19s are 57. Now in this we see that 19 19 ones are so it is divided and what is left here minus 2 upon 3 is your answer. Fifth minus 85 divided by 20. Children before solving this sum let me tell you now we are going to see the other method which is given in the textbook. Before this four sums were solved by other method while where we have removed factors of that number even in this sum we are going to remove the factors but which is given in the textbook that method we are going to see let's see what they have done here we have here minus 85 divided by 20 so what numerator is having negative sign so in the textbook what it is given that how to separate this negative sign? What they have done is they have used 1 in the numerator and denominator to multiply that number and they have separated minus 1. Why 1? Because any number multiplied by 1 you get the answer what the number is. Like here you can see that 1 multiplied by 85 the answer is 85 itself. So they have taken 1 and this 1 we have to multiply by in numerator and denominator. So here the negative sign which is given that has been separated by taking minus 1. So now let's see the factors of 85. This minus 1 is kept as it is and denominator 1 multiplied by 20 is 20. So they have factored 20. So what is 85 factors? 5 seventeenths are 85 and 5 denominator 5 
fours are twenty. So what here we are going to divide is five ones are five numerator and denominator. So what is left here minus one into seventeen, which is minus seventeen and denominator four. So minus seventeen upon four is the answer. In the same method, let's see the sixth sum. Minus one fifty divided by minus twenty five. So let's write them in a division form. And this negative signs we are going to separate by with taking one. One minus one multiply by one fifty in the numerator and in denominator minus one multiply by twenty five. So let's factorize. as you can see that in numerator and denominator we have minus 1 and minus 1 so we are going to divide this minus 1 in numerator and denominator so what is left here positive 150 and positive 25 so let's remove the factors of 150 and 25 five fives are 25 and 25 six is 150 and in denominator 5 fives are 25 so as you can see that in numerator and denominator we have 5 so let's divide them 5 ones are 5 and 5 ones are 5 so what is left here 6 so 6 is your answer children it is up to your choice which method you are going to use textbook method or the method which is shown in the first four sums or even you can try your own method whichever is easy for you question number 1 7 8 9 10 you have to solve on your own let's move on to question number 2 write three divisions of integers such that the fractional form of each will be 24 upon 5 So here in this question we have to find divisions of integers and here fractional form is given. In our question number one, division of integers was given and we have we have to find fractional form. Just it is a reverse step. It is very simple question. Let's see how to solve it. Twenty four upon five. We are going to multiply numerator and denominator by any one number. in this example we have taken 2 we have multiplied 2 to numerator and denominator so if we multiply 24 into 2 we get 48 and 5 multiply by 2 is 10 this is your division of integers form therefore your answer is 48 divided by 10 in this way we have to find out three divisions of integers this is your first example let me show you if we solve this 48 divided by 10 we will get fractional form 24 upon 5 let's see how 48 upon 10 so let's remove factors of 48 24 into 2 is 48 and denominator 5 into 2 is 10 so if we divide Two ones are two ones are numerator and denominator. The answer will be twenty four upon five. Let's find out the second division of integers. In this example, what we have done, we have multiplied numerator and denominator by four. So four multiplied by twenty four and five multiplied by four. 
So here is the answer 24 multiplied by 4 is 96 and 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. So your answer is therefore 96 divided by 20 is your answer. Third example 24 multiplied by 7 and 5 multiplied by 7. So which number we have taken here? 7. We have multiplied 7 to numerator and denominator. So 24 multiplied by 7 is 168 and 5 multiplied by 7 is 35. So here we get our division form is therefore 168 divided by 35. So here what we have done is we have taken we have given negative signs to both the numbers because negative negative will turn into positive. You can take your own numbers whichever number you want to multiply to numerator and denominator is your choice. Question number 3. Write three divisions of integers such that the fractional form of each will be minus 5 upon 7. Now this is also the same question like question number 2. Here only negative sign is introduced to numerator. Let's see now. So what we have done in the first example minus 5 we have multiplied by 2. 2 we have multiplied to numerator and denominator. So 5 twos are 10 upon 7 twos are 14. Then answer is minus 10 divided by 14. This is your first example. Second example. Second what we have done is we have we have multiplied 4 to numerator and denominator. So minus 5 multiplied by 4 upon 7 multiplied by 4. 5 4s are 20 and negative sign is there so it we have given it to numerator. 7 multiplied by 4 is 28. Therefore our answer is minus 20 divided by 28. In this way you have to find out the third example. Question number 4. The fish in the pond below carry some numbers. Choose any 4 pairs and carry out 4 multiplication with those numbers. Now choose 4 other pairs and carry out divisions with these numbers. See here what we have to do is there are some negative and positive numbers given in this fish pond. And you have to choose any number and find out 4 multiplications and 4 divisions and you have to solve them. Example is given here minus 13 multiplied by minus 15 is equal to 195 that is negative negative is positive and here division example is given minus 24 divided by 9. So answer is minus 8 upon 3. In this way you have to find out Four examples for multiplication and division. 